Hi, this is Sridhar. Today I am going to explain you about the awk command in Unix shell scripting. Awk the name, we derived this name after the author Aho, Weinberger and Kernigan. The first name of these three authors, Aho, Weinberger and Kernigan. It was named like this, awk. The syntax looks like awk followed by the options options here we will be giving the field separator if the input file contains any field separator like pipeline comma then you can mention all these kind of field separator in the awk options and within single quotes you will be giving the selection criteria and the actions the selection criteria might be a filtering condition if this column contains this value if this column contains this value do this so the selection criteria or the filtering condition will be mentioned in the selection criteria followed by the actions within curly braces here you will be giving the what actions you want to do you may be printing the value or you may be doing some manipulations or you may be doing some built-in functions you can apply some built-in functions in those variables and print the result so these kind of actions can be written within curly brace here and followed by the given input file so basically this is the main syntax of this awk command the selection criteria followed by the actions within curly brace and this selection criteria will execute for only one time it will execute for only one time for the given input file and the actions part it will execute for all the lines present in the given input file if the input file contains six lines then this action will execute for six times and this selection criteria it will execute for only one time it will check with whether this column contains this value only one time it will execute and this action part it may be either a print statement or the assignment statement or we can do some ma arithmetic manipulations in the action part or the increment or decrement operator increment means plus plus you can say it as plus plus if you want to increment the value by one or two then you can simply give it as i plus plus means i equals i plus one or decrement operator operator if you want to decrement the value by one then you you no need to give it as i equals i minus one instead instead of you can give i minus minus these kind of increment operators you can give it in the actions part and there are some awk built-in functions we will be discussing later and those built-in functions can also be written in the action part or the action part also contains loops you can give while loop for loop you can write those kind of loops in the action part or a simple if statement so these kind of statements can be written in the action parts and this actions will be executed for all the lines present in the given input file and the selection criteria is just a filtering condition and there are some variables uh, like built-in variables available in this awk command it will be executed only the in if they are written inside the awk the first one is a dollar zero dollar zero in unix dollar zero is the name of the in command whereas if you are writing in the awk command dollar zero means it will print the entire line if you give print dollar zero then it will print the entire line in the action part as I said, the action part might be a print statement. If you are writing print dollar zero, then it will print all the lines present in the given input file. No, I don't want to print all the line. I want to print only selected lines. Then you have to give like this dollar one, dollar two, dollar three, like that. Let me show you the example. If you see here, 100 is coming under $1, that is first field and Thomas is coming under second field, so $2. If you are giving $1 and $2, I want to print only $1 and $2 of this input file, then it will print 100 and Thomas, 200 Jason, 300 Sanjay, like that. It will print only the first column and second column. If you are giving $1 and $2, if you are giving $0, what it does it will print the entire line dollar zero means it will print the entire line dollar one two three four means the corresponding columns present in the given input file 
the next one is the nr nr means the line number in the given input file if you want to print the line number also for example the first 100 is coming under the first line number 200 is in second line number 300 is in third line so nr means the line number line number of each line in the given input file and nf means the column numbers not the column numbers how many columns number of columns present in each line of the given input file in the first line how many columns are there and the delimiter is the pipeline symbol how many columns are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so there are 6 columns so nf value if you give print nf then it will print 6 for the first line for the first line it will print 6 and for all the lines also I have given only 6 columns so nf value will be 6 for all the lines so nf is it number of columns present in each line of the given input file normally we won't be preceding the dollar symbol if you want to print a value of the variable for example c equals a plus b and i want to print the value of c print c only and we should not precede dollar symbol in front of c print a dollar c is not a valid statement if you want to print the value of a variable do not precede dollar in the action part unlike in ordinary unix if you want to print the value of c you will be preceding dollar symbol print or echo dollar c but in awk statement inside the actions part with inside the curly braces if you want to print the value of a variable then you should not print you should not precede the dollar symbol why because already we are using the dollar symbol if you want to print the entire line or if you want to print a selective columns first column or second column in those case you are using the dollar symbol and that may be the reason and there are some operators available arithmetic operators plus minus slash star modulus operator percentage and the logical operators if you want to combine two conditions if this condition satisfied and this condition also satisfied for the and part you will be using the double ambition symbol and the double pipeline symbol means or operator and exclamatory means not operator and numeric compa comparison operators greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and equals you have to give double equals if you are giving any equality condition if this column contains this value for example here i want to give the condition as dollar 2 or dollar 3 equals manager i want to print the employees details whose designation is manager if dollar 3 equals manager then how i will write it dollar 3 equals manager i will be writing like this equal the condition if you are giving this equality condition then you have to give double equal symbol dollar 3 equals manager and increment or decrement operators plus plus minus minus plus you can also give plus equals if you want to give it as i equals i plus 1 i equals i plus 1 you can write it as i plus plus or you can also write it as i plus equals 1 same way you can also increment by 2 also if you want to increment it by 2 then i plus equals 2 i equals i plus 2 but i plus plus always it will increment by 1 and we can also write loops inside the action part in the action part we can also give the loops or the if statement or any built-in functions everything everything can be written inside the action part and this action part as i said it will execute for all the lines present in the given input file the if, if condition is if the condition true within curl parenthesis you have to give the condition if the condition is true then it will execute the statement and you have to give the if statement inside the curly brace else the else part should be written within the curly brace the else statement you can if you if there are more select sta if, if statements and you want to write it in a simple way in one line you can also write it in this way if the condition inside the square bracket you can give the condition if the condition satisfies true question mark means if the condition is true then it will execute the if statement if the condition is true then it will execute the if statement colon means if the condition is false then it will execute the else part within square bracket you can give the else part in one line also you can write it 
Next goes the filtering condition. What is the filtering condition? In the arc syntax, I, tell, I told that there is a selection criteria and this selection criteria will execute for only once. So you have to give the selection criteria dollar three. If the third column equals manager, then print the line. So if you want to give any filtering condition, then you have to give it in the selection criteria part. You have to enter it in the selection criteria. So the filtering condition can be written in this way. If dollar three equals director, where the dollar three equals director, dollar three is manager developer sysadmin manager dba and D man manager so dollar 3 doesn't contain any director so you can give the condition in this way dollar 3 equals director or dollar 3 tilde director in either way you can write it tilde means it's like like statement if dollar 3 contains director this statement will be used if the field is having blank spaces if this field is having blank space i will show you cat note the difference between these two file for the first input file cat emp underscore ns there are no spaces after this delimiter pipeline whereas in the second file emp underscore yes underscore in the sense i renamed as uh, it is having some space if you see this the same contents but there are some spaces after the each and every column after each and every column there are some some amount of spaces so it is very legible it's uh, legible and clear to read but it contains some space so the tilde operator is used if the column contains any space you can use the tilde symbol if the column contains any space then you can use this tilde symbol for example, dollar three equals DBA. If you want to print as dollar three equals DBA, dollar three equals DBA, it will execute correctly for EMP underscore NS because EMP underscore NS dollar three contains exactly DBA and there is no spaces before and after the DBA statement, DBA word. There are no spaces before or after the DBA. Whereas this statement dollar three equals DBA will not execute successfully for this file EMP underscore yes file. Why? Because in EMP underscore yes file, the third column that is dollar three equals third column dollar three contains DBA, but there are spaces after this DBA. So it won't execute successfully for EMP underscore yes file. Whereas it will execute successfully for EMP underscore NS file. So what we have to do in this case, if you want to search for the third column contains DBA, then you have to give it as dollar three tilde tilde symbol DBA. If dollar three tilde DBA means dollar three contains DBA, so it will execute successfully for EMP underscore yes file. That is even if it contains spaces after this DBA or before this DBA, it will execute successfully. It will search whether the dollar three contains this word DBA. So the tilde operator is used if there are spaces in the given input file. If there are spaces for that column in the given input file, you will be using the tilde symbol. Whereas we will be using, you will be using the equal symbol if there are no spaces for that column in the given input file and the for loops for i equals 1 the initialization semicolon i is less than or equal to 10 the condition and the increment operator these are the statements exactly similar to c language and next goes to the while loop while the condition is true then it will execute the statement and we have to give the statements inside the curl brace and it will exit the loop if the condition is false and these while loops for loops the condition everything you can if condition everything you have to write it in action part in the action part so next I have given some sample contents in EMP underscore s and EMP underscore ns file 
I will wind up this session and I will continue in the next session. I will execute the awk commands. How will you select a particular line? How will you and what kind of manipulations you can give in the for the given input line? Everything I will continue in the next session. Thank you for watching.